And yes. knowing that I'm now a one man show with a, a, a family that is looking to me su- to support, which is a, a role I want. I want that. I love that role. But I know that the body can only keep up for so long. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 381st episode of Potty Talk, and we got a great potty talk for you here. I've been looking forward to this interview. We have Mike and Erica Tonini, owners, plumbing power couple of Attaboy Plumbing. Attaboy. That sounds familiar. Sure does. Because it was our old company name. They took our name, which we were looking for someone to do that. <laughs> uh, so this we, is such a great name. Yes. And yes. so th- there's, there's special there's special feelings there. And then watching them. But we just love them as, as a couple. They, nuggets of gold. Yes. Tons of nuggets of gold in this interview. You're not going to want to miss it. So listen in. Well, can I say, if you are a plumbing um, business owner and you are thinking or wanting your wife to come alongside and, and join the business, pause this episode right now. Go ask your wife if she'd watch or listen to it with you um, because they really offer some great advice on on how they started and, and some of the struggles they had in the beginning and how they wouldn't have it any other way now. So Powerful, powerful, powerful. Yes. So without further ado, uh-huh. Mike and Erica Tonini, plumbing power couple, owners of Attaboy Plumbing. All right. Welcome, Mike and Erica Tonini. It's great to have you here. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So right. great to have you guys we, here. As we said, you know, we've been looking forward to this to this time together, mm-hmm. to this interview, because as we as we shared, mm-hmm. all right, the Taninis have a special place in our heart. Not <laughs> only just because they're a plumbing power couple, mm-hmm. but because they are Attaboy Plumbing owners of Attaboy, Attaboy plumbing. plumbing. What a great name! Right. Whatever possessed you to name the company Attaboy, Attaboy. Plumbing? <laughs> <laughs> um well it originally started uh growing up my dad used to always say that attaboy that you know just attaboy you hit it you hit you know you got on base you you know you threw a touchdown things like that or you you swung the nail right 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 <laughs> things like that and uh uh and then listening of course to the podcasts uh originally I was MT plumbing because I had MT for Mike Tonini and uh, learning the business side of things, I realized that carrying my initials in the company name is great for me, but not great for future me, meaning uh, set up to sell at some point, pass on. Uh, so I decided to get rid of the initials and go with uh, that attaboy. There we go. And then here we are. <laughs> and, I, and you know, we love it because that was the name of our company. Right. And, and for years. And so to have, you know, we always say, we always would put it out there. We wish someone would just take Somebody that name. It's a great name, name. Great right. to name. And the Toninis took it took or whatever. It. And I love that you relate to that because that's the same kind of a thing that, that I related to, Mike, mm-hmm. was the attaboy. Mm-hmm. And I can tell you, I don't know if you're experiencing this in your brand, but our brand, it went, we had everyone going, attaboy, attaboy. attaboy, and, and, attaboy. You know, All yeah. I can't. People are waving at us at the intersections of traffic lights saying, attaboy, like putting down the windows. Yes. Like it's more so than just a brand, like a name. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it has passion behind it to everybody. You don't need to be a business owner to know like attaboy, like that's it's, like a pat on the back. Yes. To everybody. It's a good, it's a and good feel good what, name. And it feels right? good. It's a good feel good it name. Is, yeah. It's good to say. Um, so, and Mike, what you did when you started your plumbing business was very common. You took your name or initials or whatever. I mean, you, people do, you know, last name, plumbing, initials, all the things. Um, how was it making that transition from MT Plumbing? It was nerve wracking. <laughs> to begin with, because I had, I had years of reviews. I had years of just tread that I, I was making with that with MT. Right. And so I, I wanted to do a bunch of research to know that am I going to be starting from scratch all over again? So I and then and getting things in place. So that was it was very nerve wracking. But I was I was to in order to launch I like for instance with kick charge and things like that, though it's a it's big on it's a big waiting game. So that being said, I, I did a I had plenty of time to brainstorm what I wanted to do, knowing I wanted to launch with Kick Charge. And so uh I just knew that changing the name was gonna be huge in 10 years from now. So, so I thought about where thinking. I plan where I'm planning to be versus where I'm my, not necessarily my next step. I wanted to know my next step from a year from now, 10 years from now. Perfect. So knowing that I would be changing the name. 
was I, it was a, I knew it would be rough at first and it truly wasn't even that rough. It was just a matter of introducing myself as the new guy in town again. So, so, so it how, was huge. How, how's that, how's that worked out for you? How, how, how's the change worked? It's been amazing. Like I'll, I, even in, I go to hardware stores and people are saying, Oh, attaboy, things like that versus MT. Like they see it, with all of our branding that we, we've, we're trying to continue with. It's, we're all, we're everywhere. It we're, we're everywhere. You're on a bus. And yeah. Are you, are you doing a bus? bus? Yeah. Commercials, billboards. I mean, we're doing everything we can and we're, once we've created that wheel, we're trying to recreate that wheel to do it even better. Love that. So it's just an endless cycle, but it's been a huge game changer. So when we hear that, when I hear that, we see you everywhere. It's, it's to me, it's mission accomplished. It's like, all right, yeah. that means I'm doing something right. Yeah, exactly. the passion of MT is there, but now it's it's just more so because now it's so glorified as Attaboy. Yes. Because Attaboy, everyone knows. It's right. like a... It's almost like a real business, right? And I, not that MT yeah. Plumbing oh, wasn't a real business. Oh, Everyone thinks we're franchise. Exactly. That's so awesome. Which, which equates that. to uh, security, security in the right. mind of the customer. Right. Exactly. And we we kind of yes. think we want them to know that we're that we're locally owned, mm -hmm. Care and that's what right, and that's why it's important what we do socially, mm -hmm. so they see us that we're we're you know family owned business that that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. But that having that name, that kind of a franchise name like that really equates to not security. Yeah, security, security in the for mind the, of the customer, yes. right? Yeah. So it's great that you got yes. that. Love that. Now, yeah, we're planning say, to be here for years to come. That's right. Well, and I want to say, and you mentioned um, with Kick Charge, Kick Charge Creative, and that's the, the company that we for sure recommend to do any branding, rebranding and, and all that. Um, it's, it's an investment, right? I'm sure you guys had to swallow a few times when you found out the cost, right? But so worth it because like you said, Mike, this is, this is your brand 10 years from now. This is a brand that you'll use to sell. Um, and so spending the money up front and, and making that wise investment, um, it's, it's a long play yes. for sure. Um, yeah. So and yeah, absolutely. So we highly recommend Kick Charge. Dan Antonelli. He did one a great job there with with Attaboy Plumbing. Yes, he did. So yes. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now. And it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. So I know yes. that. So Mike, I know. So I know that uh, you and Erica now you're a plumbing power couple. You're working together, and I'm, we're going to get to Erica because she has a powerful story um, in, in that transition. But you were on your own with with MT MT Plumbing, mm -hmm. all right. And then I I believe you. I I think I. I know that you discovered potty talk and, and even you wound up in the success Academy doing that, you know, in that and learning those kinds of things. What was something in that transition? What was something that hit you or that surprised you that helped you make the transition from MT plumbing to attaboy plumbing? Actually, can I ask it a different way? Hold on, Mike. Let me ask a different way. What, how did you go on in search of trying to find um, help or a solution or whatever, right? Because there was something that happened, which then triggered you to to look for and then eventually find Potty Talk and Million Dollar Plumber. Well, I knew, I knew it could be done because I see success everywhere I go. Like there's other businesses in town that are successful, and instead of holding a grudge to them, I try to figure out what they like. I want their book. I want to read their book and master what they have, and then duplicate and supercharge it myself. So um, gotcha. truly the, what helped me was the drive. Uh, I didn't, I, I would come home and wake up aching like busted fingers and knuckles that, and yes. knowing that I'm now a one man show with a, a, a family that is looking to me su to support, which is a, a role I want. I want that. I love that role but I know that the body can only keep up for so long. So I wanted to see how I can, again, duplicate me, duplicate business. Uh, what like van number one, van number two, van, you know, uh, how can I keep that going? And literally what it would be would me, me coming home dry, like dried sweat. And I remember, uh, I would find potty talk live and, 
it had that, it was like literally that book that I had to read. It was just, I had to read it. It was full of knowledge. And it was just that encouragement that I needed to say like, oh my gosh, there, there's, this is a, this is, there is a way. And I, I'm, I studied and studied by listening and listening until I was ready to make that leap. And once I made that leap, uh, I, it, gosh, it's been about a year now and it, it, it's it been the best decision I've made is by, but that leap, what that leap is to me still even today is the leap of unknown, the leap of, I know I'm going in the right direction, but I am completely uncomfortable, completely <laughs> uncomfortable. The only thing that I've gotten out of it is that, and I say this often to Erica, is that when I feel super uncomfortable, it almost feels good because right after that, success, a, a, a succeed to six, you know, is the next step was super successful. And then we're so that that ground zero that we hit, it's never the ground zero from six months ago or a year ago. It's a wow. whole it's a much better level. Yes. And then it's just the steps. Oh, oh that's my just the steps. Yes. I, I, I love how you put that. And I, I hear nothing but strength and I have the utmost respect for you. Mike, because that is the, that's what separates. And, you know, I, I kind of speak just directly and boldly, you know, that's what separates the, the winners from the whiners is that even though you know, you're, you were already successful because you got in the ring, MT plumbing, you're doing the stuff you're, and just being out there, you're already successful, but you wanted something more and you were, it's scary, right? It's, it's very, you know, it's it, it, all, everyone's, we're all, as men, we're all nervous and afraid, but the ones that say, I, I, Instead of being mad, way. instead of giving succumbing to the fear and even being mad at those who are succeeding right. more than you. Being jealous. It's, right. It's like, no, I, I want to know. I want their book. I like how you put that. I want to know. I want to know their playbook. Right. What are they doing? I want to know how. Right. Yeah. And that, that is the key right and there. Strange, and Mike, sure. thank you for being so yeah. transparent and sharing that with others. Because yes. others right now need to hear that. Guys, you need to hear just what Mike Mike laid down there. Yeah. That was a huge nugget Do of gold. A, a rewind a couple times on yes. that. So, all right. So I want to get to Erica. Yeah. Erica. Plumbing power couple. So let's. You guys now are a plumbing power couple. Were you on board with the whole plumbing business thing in the beginning? Did you start with Mike from the very beginning? What's <laughs> how? Did, what's your role, or how did it come to be? How did you come to be in Attaboy Plumbing? Oh gosh, no. I the answer to that the, the quick answer is absolutely not. <laughs> I was not on board. Uh, even when he came to me and said, "I want to change our name to Attaboy," I I was like, "That's a terrible name. What are you talking about?" <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> like not on board at all. Uh, but I think just watching the power plumbing couple videos, um, some of the other ladies talking about coming on board, and uh, like I've told, I was supposed to be going into law enforcement. I've been a stay-at-home mom, was supposed to go into law enforcement. Wow. And just watching those videos, they were just such, I mean, I really identified with the women and those feelings of, who am I? Am I going to lose my identity? This is, I would always say, plumbing, that's your thing. It's not my thing. That's your thing. That's not my thing. I'll be on your tombstone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, I knew we would get to our why faster if I joined. And I remember Mike sitting at our pony wall, which is right next to me, and just looking out at these new vans that he had just bought, two like new vans. Three weeks to get, three weeks apart, bought two new vans. And wow. he right. said, I really, I think I stuck my neck, I really think I stuck my neck out there this time. And just the look in his face, and that was just kind of my call to action, just to jump in the ring with him. And just, it's time to get, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we're going to do it together, and we're just going to launch, and we're going to, I'm going to make sure that you're not going to take these hits alone and I'm not going to let you fall on your face and fail. We're going to just, we're going to do this. I and have the heat goosebumps. Of COVID. I have goosebumps all the way. Guys, that is power. Guys, yeah. Ladies, if you're listening, rewind and listen to that. Um, that was a decision because you had a career. You wanted nothing to do with plumbing. You were on track for a, clear, a career in law, law enforcement, but you watched your husband, you know, trying to make it, make his way. Right. And then, said to you either Mike, I don't know if you said it to her or you're just thinking out loud, man, I think I really stuck my, my neck out here. Erica, your reaction, which is so great, so good for you, your reaction was, wasn't, was well, Mike, yeah, you did, and so now you've made your bed and you're off the line or whatever, right? You then took action and said, all right, this is us. We're, we're committed. We, we're burned the ships and we're in this together. That is what makes a power couple. Yes. Absolutely. I love hearing that. And okay. I imagine that's what makes – Attaboy plumbing, because I can tell you in our attaboy plumbing, I was just out here flaming, you know, flaming around, you know, 
getting buried in trenches and getting all kinds of crap all over me. And it wasn't until the lovely Laura was in that all of a sudden we took off. And we've seen that time and time and time and time and time again. If I, I hear the guys will say, I don't know if I could work with my wife or I could do that. Um, and I can say, guys, it, that, we, see, we see that even in the, in the academy. Um, we see that with, with our, you know, the, our private clients that we work with one-on-one. As soon as, as soon as the wife gets involved, I don't know if it's just their, their sixth sense that they have, or just, I think they're just smarter too. Women tend to be, <laughs> or it might be that. You know, focus on other things. <laughs> but I also say, I think it's that energy too, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So Erica, yeah. what, what was something that was a struggle for you in the beginning as yeah. you're now making the decision? Okay. I'm, I'm along. We're, this is us together. This isn't just MT plumbing and Mike's business. This is Attaboy and us together. What was something that you struggled with in the beginning? I think it was an initial fear of, I, you know, I don't know anything about plumbing. How is, how am I going to bring what I, you know, what I know to, to the, to, to this arena uh, that, that I struggled with um, even just dealing with the guys and recruiting. I mean, it, it's all the things, it's all the things. Uh, where do you get, where do you start? Um, it's just not taking no for an answer. And we're just, I'm just going to, we're just going to keep doing this. We're going to keep going. I'm going to figure it out because I don't have a choice. We just rebranded people have to know who we are. And that's a huge, that's a huge task. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, that's, that was like, wow, this is, we got to do this. Got to do it. There's no other, we don't have a choice. Right. You burn the ships, right? Right. Totally burn the ships. Burn the ships. Yep. Yep. Um, So, I mean, there, and you're right. You probably had never started a business before. There's all kinds of things that you're doing in the business you've never done before. Right. Um, Right. on the daily, on the daily, like. <laughs> yeah. on the hourly, sometimes, yeah. right? Um, right. But you—that's the the perfect attitude. I'm going to figure it out, right? I'm going to figure it out. And also, um, I'm assuming that you, because you guys are our clients of um, master clients of MDP, and your coaches are the Del Nays, Matt and Sarah, who are amazing, of course. Um, but having, yeah. I'm I'm assuming that ha- having that type of mentorship with Sarah, because Sarah is very strong. Didn't, didn't come from the business world, right? She had a social worker background and now- look She had her own career. She had her own career. Yeah. So was that helpful having an, a mentor like that, um, a woman mentor, wife mentor saying, oh, here's the things, here's, don't freak out. Here's the things you need to do. You know, how was that um, looking up to Sarah? Uh, oh, absolutely. hundred percent. Absolutely. It was the, the mindset. If they can do it, we can do it. And I just, I, I almost say right. that daily. If they can do it, I, say you say that all if I say it all the time out loud. If they can do it, we can do it. If they can do it, we can do it. If they're wrapping a bus, we're wrapping a bus. Everything that they, I call it the Del May blueprint for success. <laughs> you literally right. just follow it. Everything that they've done, we right do on. everything they tell us to do. Um, and I think the whole background to that is just, it's like, we hope we make them proud. They've given so much of their time to us to get us where we need to be, where we want to be. And mm-hmm. Oh, huge, tremendous. Absolutely. I and just following that. other women in group and Sarah, and it's just, it's been monumental to our success. I love hearing that. And I love it. I love, I know that they would love hearing what, yes. how you said, well, if they can do it, we can do it yes. because that's the exact attitude. Mm. That's what we hope we convey here. I know you guys have learned in the, you know, um, in the success Academy and with, with their coaching and all that as well, you know, that really it's 20% of the success has to do with learning the equations and the marketing and this, this kind of stuff. But 80% really has to do what we have going on right. up in our heads. Mm-hmm. And so that's a very powerful thing already with Mike, your, your, your brain was opened up. Well, I just want to learn what I want to learn a playbook. Mm-hmm. So your, your mind's open, but also then having the attitude of, well, Heck, if they can do it, right. I can do it. Right. You know, we can do it. I know, right. love that. Right. And also, too, yeah. when you decided to to buy the bullet and and um, get coaches, right? I mean, that's that's an investment as well. Um, some people will get coaching and then they don't listen to their mentors, right? Right. right. They don't. They don't, don't listen. listen to, don't listen to the coach. Don't right. listen to the coach. Which is always <laughs> right. frustrating to us. But right. you, on the other hand, said, "Okay, whatever they say, we're doing it. We're we're going to do exactly yeah. what they say because you hired them for that reason." So. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. We're going to use the knowledge that that they are telling us. And it's like all basically think of it every single night we are studying for the test that happens every single day. Yes. So with them, we are constantly asking them, bouncing questions off the wall to them. If there's anything that they expect or any anything from hiring to the next van type of van uh, next uh, venture of whatever we need to do with marketing in order to to make the phone ring because that's the key uh we run it completely through them and all we do is 
literally listen. Yeah. Just they have great knowledge to t- of they have, they know every. I feel like they've gone through every single thing that we're up against. Like yesterday, like it's so new to them. Like it's it's brand new to us, but it's like they just dealt with that yesterday and they have the answer. Right. So it's uh, great. They they've reason- been where where we are. They've been there, done that, and that, that that's so comforting to me. It's just like okay, they've gone through this too. This isn't anything. We're not getting picked on. We're not. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this isn't just us. Together. The championship rounds like we're in it we're in round 15 every day <laughs> that's right <laughs> i love it good students here all right um, well I, that's that's why we heard of you guys knew of you guys before because we know we have the meetings with with the staff you know the coaches and that kind of stuff and so we kept hearing the tonini name tonini's the tonini's and then we, of course when it went out a boy it's like of course we're we're clued in then right but uh, i have a question guys, so you guys have three boys right yeah. so i'm kind of talk some family stuff and and marriage and all the things yeah, i just want to get to of how yes. they're working together right yeah. how was it in the beginning right because before you probably went both went off in your own direction during the day right now you're working together so you're together i'm assuming for the most part 24 7 if mike's not in the truck right and right. you got the three boys three boys right mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So w- were you nervous? Eric, let me ask you first. Were you nervous about, okay, if I come alongside, all we're going to have is this business between us and we're, it's, I don't want to talk business 24 seven. Did you have that attitude in the beginning? Did it change? You know, where are you guys at with that? Uh, definitely. Definitely. That was a, that was a concern of mine. If we're, you know, if we're working together, we live together, we're raising kids together. Is what's the separation? Is there going to be division? If something happens at work, is that going to affect our relationship? I think we've just approached it. We're, we're best friends. And I, I, my spin for that was I get to work with my best friend. I get to see him all day long now and just being behind supporting him the best way I can. It helps. That really helps. I I told him, I want, what's your plan B? What's your plan B after plumbing? Because you're this, you can't do this forever. Your body's going to give out. What is your plan B? We got to help. And I wanted to help him figure that out. Mm. So that's, I don't, there was never anything negative about it. I, I can't do it. I can't work with him. I know who he is. I know how he responds. I know how he reacts to things. Um, so th- I think that's really helped us, but it's, we're having fun with it the most we can. And on days where we're having those loud business meetings, yeah. <laughs> days, nights, we try to, you know, it's like, okay, let's reel it back in. Let's bring it back to what we're, what we're doing here, you know, cause working together is that's what that's what our goal is you know we're better together than apart and uh, divided i love hearing that yeah. that and that's exactly it but um because most of the time you think when you're going to business together um you think well we're just i don't want to i want the business talk to stop at five o'clock or whatever it could be it, so nice you, you think that but then you find if you do it right you enjoy having this hobby ish, right? Or this interest yeah. of owning a business together. And it, it doesn't become this thing where I need to stop talking about Attaboy plumbing at five o'clock. And now we're only going to talk marriage and family and chores and all that kind of stuff. No, it's a, it, it's a family business. I'm assuming, you know, the boys are going to hear you talking about Attaboy plumbing, right? Um, yeah. So oh, they love it. Their friends, their friends see our, I, you know, their friends. Oh, they, see yeah. They think we're just the coolest thing. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. Their friends, their friends will snap pictures of our billboards on our bus, and you know, text the boys. Yeah, they love it. Love that. That's yeah, so bill, cool. Because our billboards, we have rotate, so they think that oh, you're on this side of town too. Like, <laughs> and it's funny because they don't think we have jobs. You know, they're they're <laughs> so, we, we hang out at home a lot or go to the office, and it's like, yep. Their friends will say, you know, okay, well, can't your dad take us? Because he's, you know, I, I know I I'm like, work. It's like, we didn't, we didn't. I didn't realize I just hooked myself for every field trip known. <laughs> <laughs> but that's part of, that's part of it though. That's part of like why we do what we do. Mm-hmm. There is no one to ask permission to do it. We just, Hey, we're getting our hair done. Hey, we're getting, I have a field trip, you know, with my son. That's, that is, Hey, I enjoy taking my kids to school. Mm. That is part of like, Part of the the fun of this is you get, of you get to enjoy those seasons, right? right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mike, how how did your mind change? So, we talk about this. We talk about the freedom lifestyle, you know, and some of that that doesn't you know goes out there. Maybe you don't quite understand what that is, um, but when, in the academy and in the training, we, you know, we talk about this freedom lifestyle. How how's your mind shift from being a plumber? We should be working 24 seven, 24 right? seven and working all right, 24 seven to this concept of having a freedom lifestyle. Mm, good question. Automate your company's day-to-day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Service Titan. 
Service Titan is the world's leading all-in-one field management software for home service businesses looking to improve efficiency and profitability. Just ask Potty Talk listeners who have made the move to Service Titan. Not only have they saved thousands by eliminating time spent on profit-sucking manual tasks, but they now have scalable processes in place to help grow their business for years to come. To check them out and to take advantage of special discounts for Potty Talk listeners, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Service Titan. It, how did, gosh, it, it just, it, it took away the value of the dollar. We just knew if we wanted something that we wanted to do, like a vacation or something like that, we would just say, okay, it's, it's $2,000 to do that. And we're going to do that in the summer. So we're going to make sure we do that at bottom line. So whether or not the, if the money's tight one month or not, it doesn't matter. We're making sure that that trip happens. We're making sure. And that is part of while we're why we are doing this it's because we we don't need to ask permission like i said to anybody we just we decide this is what we're doing we're making sure that this happens and we go with it and then we come back to to when that is all said and done we come back to plan the next one it's just all about the the reason why is is what is because we want these nice things it's not necessarily the amount of money that we're we're banking as they say like saving um it's no it's it's how we're spending the money that we have on rotation of how we can do things to live a decent life have have you know decent things and do do fun stuff with the family because that you know 10 years from now we're going to look back and we're hoping to say that we spent the time that we have with our kids that are still living at home as best we can versus on making sure I go to work on Saturday at mid, you know, at 8 a.m. No, I want to be with my children. I want to be with Erica, not work related. I want to just be doing what we want to do. Right. Your why, right. And Erica, you you alluded to that earlier, right. It's knowing your why. And that's something that, you know, we teach in the Academy. Um, But a a lot of people tend to skip over that a little bit, right. Which is it's foundational. It's foundational right. to to your business, yeah. to your lives, right? Our why is in constant change. Mm. It's constantly just because going your mind's up. opening up to other things. Is that why? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But just like Richard has said, you, you get in that other room with with individuals that are going to just help you see the next steps, mm-hmm. and that's I feel like I say that now often. We're, yeah. We want to get in that room. I want to get in that room. Get, How can I get in that room? I don't want to be the smartest in any room I'm in because yeah. I want to take that knowledge to the next room. Absolutely. Uh, Mike and Erica, that attitude, you guys are going to go mm-hmm. way beyond whatever, yes. you know, you guys have learned that before we did. <laughs> <laughs> so the, so the Del Nays, we just love, <laughs> we love when the young kid, you know, but that's, that's the thing, you know, is being in that room and having the, and I'm talking, you know, some guy talk here, Mike, the, the strength, that is real strength to position yourself in a room that's smarter and stronger than you are at the, at the moment. Mm-hmm. But that's how you get smarter and stronger mm-hmm. is by being, with want, a, yeah. being around those other bigger dogs, you know, mm-hmm. and you just keep notching it up. There's always know? nuggets to learn. Yes. Always, yep. always nuggets. Um, okay. So relationship wise. So again, you guys are working 24 seven, right? Together all the time. It's so great that you guys say you're best friends um, and enjoy. I think that's a great spin. Erica. Um, it doesn't mean there aren't loud, loud occasional, business meetings. loud business yes, meetings. Yes, we right? still have them. We, we still, Please. right. Um, not yet today. Yeah, I had to set you straight, you know, a couple days ago. But, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. no, it's not, it's, it's, <laughs> Whatever. Uh, um, but, uh, you made me lose my train. Uh, so. Oh, relationship. Yes. So how has your relationship changed? Um, in your Obviously, your, your marriage, because you're, you're together all the time. Um, what's some? What's the good parts of, the, of how it's changed? Oh I, I think about this a lot is... We've just, we're more solid. I was talking about we're not, we're stronger. We're taking the hits together and it's just, we're making them, we're also ma- learning a lot. We're, we're new. We're making mistakes ourselves. We're, we're all, we're figuring it out together and it, we're just getting smarter and stronger running our business together and our relationship. It's, it, it goes both ways with our relationship. We're also getting smarter and stronger in our relationship. Um, it's, it's been great. We love hearing that. What about you, Mike? I would, uh, I would say exactly the same. Like we, it, uh, the blows, the low, hard blows that we at times do give each other. We have just made ourselves stronger. We're able to like, we've been there, we see what we need to do. And we, 
for instance, when that those loud meetings happen, they they're wrapped up much faster than they were a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> but they absolutely happen, and that's just that's that's that that's the stage that's, we're in. Is of course just the it's in that. So we know that there might be times where you know th- it does happen. It does happen, and it's. Uh, but I I I would say I've grown to know that it's not it's not Erica. It's our. It's never me. It, yeah, it's never. It's never <laughs> Erica. It's just, it's just situational. Such you know mm-hmm. that last customer did, did so and so to one of our guys, and mm-hmm. it's just well that was today, and it might happen tomorrow, mm-hmm. but we're going to be ready for it, and we're yes. just going to keep going, mm-hmm. and take this knowledge to the next one. It's, so uh-huh. it's about best friends. If you're best friends, right? You, there's grace, right? There's grace that goes back and forth. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're on you know, everything's on target and perfect and whatever, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we say all the time. We're never we're, against each other. That's good. Mike. That was a nugget of gold yes. right there. No kidding. That's, that was, yeah, yeah that's, that's really it. That's the end all be all. We're not against each other. We're together, we're gonna, and that's what we do. And before we were in business together, there was times where we were absolutely against each other mm-hmm. on whatever circumstances that hit hit with our, our family, just living. And so now that we're working together, we... It's like she can almost understand why I'm so upset because it played out for the last day and a half of, and this is why, or or vice versa. It's like we get, I, I totally understand. How can we help each other? How can we? So when it comes to problem solving, at, like for instance, Erica is my Hulk in a way. She's my Adrian of Rocky. Yeah. Like she is my when I have when I'm like I feel like my head's ready to explode. I. I, I go to Erica and she just like settle down, settle down, and we figure things out. Oh. We really do, guys. I love oh, like when I what I'm high. spitting out, what I'm spitting out when I when I am freaking out. It's like she's just writing it all down, and then next thing you know, she's doing every single thing. And it's great. <laughs> I, it's great because it's like I'm saying what I need to say, but I can't record what I'm saying at that state. I can't record it in my mind to do it, Mm -hmm. but she's just like getting it done. Yes. And it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I I would not be, I wouldn't even be halfway where I'm at without having Erica. I call her the lovely Erica from everyone's (laughs) world. Well, (laughs) smart man. You got yours. I got mine. You just, you just described our relationship Mm -hmm. and it's a powerful thing. I, I, Mike, I really, I really appreciate you being so transparent Mm -hmm. um, because I, I hear nothing but strength in that. And, and I know, like with, with with my lovely Laura, um, I wouldn't be where I am today without my lovely Laura. Um, and in fact, if we are best friends. But through those fights, it also makes us. I fall more in love with her because I've been. We've been in the battlefield together. I don't know if you. I know you feel this. We've been on the battlefield together, and it's like like some kind of you know. Um, you know, Marvel movie where we're the king and queen fighting side by side, all the demons. And we come out of the battle together as winners. Yep. You know, it's just, it's that it's that close. And we can look at each other and, and say, you know, when we're on the other side of it, we did it. We did right. right? We did it. We did it. There was there wasn't a separation, you know, because before Mike you had your own business, right? And if you had some success or whatever, you'd be like, yay me, right? Yeah. But now mm-hmm. it's it's yay us. Look what we did. Look what we did together. Yeah, we, Laura, man, you slammed him, man. I got man, you took. You know, and <laughs> then she took his bed off. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's it's a, it's a privilege being able to work together because yeah. there I don't think any even a partnership is this is beyond that. This is the passion that she has for Attaboy Plumbing. It it it's, it's it equals mine, which I thought would be you could, couldn't match it, couldn't match it. But no, it's I could be I could be dying in bed and the business is profitable because yeah. Erica is making the decisions without me having to say it. Cause she knows mm-hmm. right what on. needs to get done. And it probably brings more life for you. I mean, you probably even have a different feeling about Attaboy um, or MT plumbing than you did before. Right. With now that Erica, you're, you're in it together. So it's, a, it's a, just a whole nother level. Absolutely. And our, you know, we are, we have three boys, but we're from different relationships. So Mike has two boys and I have my own son. So we don't have that bond that, you know, maybe having children together would bring, but we have this business that is our baby. And that's what brings us together. That's what unites us. And that's what gets us motivated and pumped to just take on the next day and the next day and the next day. Right on. And if you notice, we haven't heard anything about plumbing. 
I don't think we have, no. You know, it, it ain't drain, about plumbing. Drain work or, or anything like that. Right. Water heaters, one of those things, right? I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. guys, mm-hmm. hey, we're about uh, wrapping up here. Mm-hmm. But before we go, I wanted, because this has been so great, mm-hmm. what is some piece of advice mm-hmm. that you could give to someone who's watching or listening mm-hmm. uh, right now um, who's, who's starting out or maybe thinking about, you know, should we do this together or yeah. whatever? Good. Yeah. Whatever comes to mind. Uh, for me, I would, I would really, really just encourage you just to really think about obviously your why, um, what is this going to do for your relationship, for your business, where do you want to be together and just really focus on that. And honestly, just figure out how you can make that jump. Cause it is a jump <laughs> as quickly as possible. I, I wish I had done it sooner. That's my biggest regret is I wish I had done it sooner mm-hmm. and I mean, for my, I think you would probably say the same. Um, and then uh, live coaching, coaching, MVP, get it. You have to do uh, coaching, mm-hmm. have to do coaching. We wouldn't be where we're at without the Del Nays, for sure. That's uh, the best advice I can give you, mm-hmm. private coaching. Okay, love that. What about you, Mike? What's, I would, what's some great advice you can give? I would say similar to what I spoke earlier is if you need to, if you're feeling uncomfortable, you're making the right moves. You really are. You you truly are. It's get that van. Just what I get that van. You're not a plumber. If you're a, if you're a business owner and you're and you are listening to this as a, a as a plumbing business owner, you're you're not a plumber. You you need to eliminate yourself from that category. You're not in the roster to get on the field. Okay. You're not. You're the guy with the playbook telling them what to do in the field. And by eliminating me from that scenario has been, I've said this a lot, that is my best advice. It's my, that's my structure of growth is, is I I'm, I'm out. Once you eliminate yourself, it's like, okay, well now it's not, I'm saving money by doing the plumbing. It's nope. You're going to make me money by doing the plumbing. Mm -hmm. So grow, grow, grow. And absolutely what Erica said, the coaching is key. It is absolutely, it's the game changer, this whole thing. Cause they, that, that key, that mindset that I have of me not being the plumber, I owe that to my coaching. Mm. I, I owe that. It took me maybe two months of, uh, being coached by Matt, which I feel like I was dragging my feet at that time to, all right, get that van. Cause it started out of a trunk of a car, beat up old pickup truck. I mean, a van that I could not even drive outside my city. It overheated all the time. I carried a cardboard box to put underneath it just in case it leaked oil. Yes. Just in case. And then I drive around. I remember I would drive around when it, when it was bad, I would drive around with cat litter after my job and go and not in my, my, uh, so they didn't know who I was and I'd be putting cat litter down to. So, uh, take care of any oil stains that could have happened in front of nice customers' houses. So, um, <laughs> just you got to have that drive and a limit. You're you're a business owner. You're not a plumber. Love that. Love yes. It. One thing we teach from the very beginning of of um, the Success Academy is if you introduce yourself to someone or they say, "Hey, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living?" You do not say, "I'm a plumber." You say, "Mike, what do you say?" I am a business owner. Mm-hmm. I am a CEO. Right exactly on. Exactly right. And yes, you are. Yes, you are. You know what I see? I see future MDP coaches. Yes, I do. Boy. Wait, we got to recruit these guys. I know it. <laughs> this is awesome. Love that. Because we all started here. I love your story. I love, guys, thank you for being so transparent. Yes. Uh, for those who are watching or listening, go back and re-listen to every word they had to say. Uh, it was powerful stuff. Um, yeah, and if you're I, starting your business or trying to figure out if the wife's going to come along or whatever. Yeah, great, great information. And just, you guys, you were such an encouragement, I know, yeah. to, to so many people yeah. um, in that position. I appreciate the words directing towards MDP and potty talk and coaching. And I say, don't, I'm not pushing for that. I, mean, I really appreciate your words for that. But go back and listen to what they had to say emotionally where they're at and the right. steps they took. Because that is, that's how simple it can be to achieve whatever, what you want to achieve with, with your business and your life. Then say easy. If you heard, if you listen between the lines, I, it's not easy, right? I mean, there's, you still got the customers and the, the, the plumbers that don't show up and the, all the kind of, and the figuring out the marketing and the marketing changes and all those kind of, there's still those realities. That's just life. All right. But it really is simple. And it's as simple as stepping out there, 
and, and facing every day. And being uncomfortable. And being, I 1% love. 1% at a time. Yes, there we go, <laughs> brother. All right. <laughs> they are good students, All right. guys. <laughs> exactly right. And they're doing it. Yes. And we're watching. Guys, we're going we're gonna, to, we love watching you guys, and we're going to continue to watch, and we're your biggest fans. Yep. Um, you know, attaboy oh, fans. I appreciate that. And yes. so. <laughs> for sure. Go for it. Yes. Again, thanks for taking the time Thank to, you guys to be so on much. Potty We really Talk. do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that that was powerful. That was I'm, I'm kind of a little lost for words here. It was a powerful episode. I love just all the things that, that um, they talked about. Um, what, a couple main things where Mike, you know, talked about going from MT plumbing to now Attaboy plumbing and, and the transition that that was um, and how nervous he was about, you know, are, are people still going to be able to find me because I've had a reputation and all that. And how, that, he look, how he looked at that. How he looked at it. Right. Yes. Um, but then their relationship and how Erica decided yes. to come alongside um, her husband's business, give up her career um, and her nervousness about, you know, am I going to lose some identity or whatever? But what they've gained from that is a relationship that gets stronger every day and that they are, they're battling it together and, and just, they wouldn't have it any other way. I, it was powerful. You know, Erica, she's a very strong mm -hmm. woman herself. Mm -hmm. In her own self identity and all those kinds of right. things, which we, we all we all get, mm -hmm. you know, and, and but yet she they, they came together, yep. and they're more powerful together, and Absolutely. how they how they spoke on that mm -hmm. and, and what they're you know experiencing now, right. it's just it's just so powerful. It was awesome. Lots of nuggets of gold yeah, there. Rewind, we'll guys, if you go back and listen, <laughs> yeah, you know, and I know that I really you know listen to what they were saying, um, you know, and how their experience and how they felt about things, and mm -hmm. of course I do appreciate they threw a lot of attaboys towards you know potty talk Atta and boy. you know million dollar plumber and the success academy yes. and, and the coaching and that kind of a thing, mm -hmm. um, which, which does make a difference. And we'd want that for you. If, if you want to learn more about that and, and what, you know, could that be a good fit or what's that all about, or even just to get pointed in the right direction, mm -hmm. you can schedule a free strategy call with us. All right. Just simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Call. Yes. And book a strategy call. I'd love to yes. To chat with you about it. No, also, no pressure. Of course all right. not. Just course not. We'll have a conversation yeah, at a minimum. A good fit. We get you pointed in the right direction. Yes. Yes. Um, and also social media. We are out on all the social media media channels. So please go out and um, follow us. Give us a like. All those things. Review us on the on whatever podcast platform you're listening to. You you guys all know reviews help. So we would appreciate a good a review. That's so. right. We appreciate that. All right. But hey, but before we let you go, as always, we want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.